Hi everyone, it's Linda. Welcome back to another video. Let's spend some time together at the place where I spend pretty much 80% of my awake time and that is at my home office. As I spend so much time in here, it is really, really important for me that it is actually, you know, fun and inspiring to be here. So it's really important with colors, with plants and more color and, you know, things that really inspires me because to put me in a place where there is like, well, now it's white walls in here, but but that's because I need white walls to film. But like with white furniture, very stiff environment, that would totally kill my creativity. So it's so important for me that it is filled with inspiring things that I really, really like. So even if I'm not working, I want to feel like this is a very nice and inspiring place to be in. I kind of change this room once a month because if I keep it the same all the time I kind of lose my inspiration and my creativity as well so I really need to change this room up all of the time I change uh, plants, I paint things or just do things to make make this room more inspiring I spend a lot of time by my computer in Photoshop so this is basically where I sit 50% of the time and then we have my makeup table. So here is usually where I film all my videos. And usually there's a hot mess here. Right now it's quite nice because of this video. This is my filming spot. I have been asked this a million million times to show my makeup storage and my makeup collection. And we're actually gonna go through a lot of it today. Don't expect something really fancy because this is not fancy at all. Uh, I'm a naturally messy person, so this is basically what I can cope with. I cannot keep up with a super clean place. When I'm in the mood, I cannot clean all the time. I prefer to keep it a little messy. Okay, so first of all, I keep some stuff in here. Here's brow stuff. And here are like tools like scissors, brow razors, tweezers, and also eyelash glue. Then we have mascaras in here and also eye primer. And here is other things like, oh, also mascaras actually. But things that basically fit in there. And then I have all my brushes. I have some lipsticks and some eyeshadow. And then we have skincare and stuff going on here. Usually when I film things, my setup looks like this. And up here I have backdrops if I want to change color. And those things are regular like curtain, the things you put up curtains with from Ikea. Super simple. And that is a UV lamp. If I want to take cool pictures with UV lamps. Many people ask me where these are from. I bought them at Amazon. I think two lid lights are perfect. And this is my camera. I actually keep all my, you know, things of like future products for LH Cosmetics in there. So we're not going to go in that cabinet, but we're going to go to the big drawer here. First drawer is palettes eyeshadow palettes a lot of eyeshadow palettes new ones old ones the new huda palettes over here that i haven't got the chance to try yet i have older palettes i have this insane palette from nyx professional makeup and i have like this mini palette from natasha Nona. and i also have palettes in the next drawer I don't really have a system here because I'm not good at systems, but uh, I try to organize them in by size so it's easier for me to like find them. But it's nice when, for example, Huda, she has 
pretty much the same size on all of her mini palettes, so I keep them here. Then I have some Pixie palettes and Fenty. These two big palettes, they have to be on top. Uh, I can't even... Oh no. I have to clean this up later. I just have to... Hello? Okay, perfect. And then here we have a fun door. Here I keep all my Danessa Myricks color fixes for freelance work and stuff. I have confetti, I have a glue gun, I have rhinestones, I have more fun stuff, face lace stickers, and I have a lot of like uh, pigments and glitters. And I think in here is also pigments and no I have glitter stuff in here too yeah I have like rhinestones and all kind of stuff and then I also have highlighters and contour products and some more highlighters in there in the next drawer I know that I have some secret stuff there so we're gonna go to this here we have I have some skincare and hair care in here and then I have these are quite old all of them I think so I might need to organize these a little better. Next up we have liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, lipsticks and lip pencils. And in here it's just like mixed single liquid eyeshadows and eyeshadows and liquid liners and stuff. Here we have foundations and concealers and primers. There is the primer box, foundation, foundation, concealer, mixed products. And in here is my freelance storage. And I also have like LH Cosmetics products in here. Uh, I keep both old and new products in here. So for example, the Enchanted Secrets palette, I still have it here and the Blossom Oil. So it's like a little museum too. I have my makeup bags for freelance and I have like all kinds of stuff in here. This one is actually really good. It's from Melt Cosmetics. It's so hard to do everything with one hand, but I'm gonna try. Where I keep brushes and pencils and also some tools for when I am freelancing. And the last drawer is basically eyelashes. A lot, a lot of eyelashes. And this little, I don't know if you call it table, but this little space here, I usually use to take product pictures. Now I keep plants on it, but this is also a space for photography. My office is also a little mini gym. And also I have a sewing machine in the corner. But um, yeah. What's a better place to keep all those things than in an office? The reason I have this mirror there is not just because I get dressed and stuff. It's also because I can use it as a reflection when I take pictures, if I want more creative pictures, for example. So I use that as my reflector, which is really, really good. And on the makeup table, I keep products that I use the most right now. I don't use four sharpeners. I don't know where I put them there. Anyhow. Oh, I need to show you my new tattoo I got last week. So this is the new addition. It's a little red still. I love how it like climbs up on the leg. One is real, one is fake. This mirror, I it was I think it was black from the beginning. Then I no, it was brown in the beginning. So I spray painted it black, uh, white, and then I painted it pink. And, uh, that stupid ass tree is just dying on me. This is my office and it's not big it's not fancy but i like it because it has a vibe i feel inspired in here i might put up some curtains because i have no curtains in here maybe i should put up some what do you guys think will it make the room look smaller and also i don't have a lamp in the ceiling yet 
which annoys me a little bit. Anyway, the point is that I don't want it to feel like an office. I really want it to feel like a place where I can be inspired, where I can create nice things and where I actually want to be. Just because I spend so much time in here. How does your dream office look like? Does it look like this or do you want like a lot of space or do you want a water slide on your office? What do you guys want? Let me know in the comments and let me know what you want to see in the next video. I'll see you again next week with another video. Bye guys.